Hey guys, it's Steve Stump here, and I thought my very first video that I talked about launching last week would be focused on some of the most common questions that I get regarding health insurance. And it happens to, it has to do with those terms, that terminology that is in the health insurance space. It can be confusing. PPO, HMO, copay, deductibles, coinsurance. Um, out of pocket max. It's super, super confusing. Network, out of network. It, they just seem to throw in so many different terms that mean something to the insurance companies that it, it's very confusing for the consumer. So I thought I would talk about some of those most, most common terms today. Well, first, I'm going to share my screen and make this a little bit uh, interactive and possibly easier for you to see. So I thought I'd talk first about, oops, PPO versus HMO. So this is probably the most common question I get. <clears throat> People want to know, is the plan that they're looking at a PPO or HMO? Or... They don't even know what the difference is. And as soon as I talk about one or the other, they want to know what's a PPO, what's an HMO. So let's talk about HMOs first. Now, <coughs> HMO stands for Health Maintenance Organization. And this is a collection of doctors that um, are typically represented by the insurance company. And you'll, you'll typically know you're in an HMO because you have to pick a primary care physician and then your primary care physician has to refer you out to specialist. And there may be pre-qualification steps that are needed should you get any care beyond what your primary care professional can provide. Now, these pre-qualifications are what a lot of people don't like about HMOs because basically someone is sitting in a cubicle somewhere with your uh, pre-qualification -pre request and they are determining whether you get the care that your doctor has said that you need or not. And they may not be a, a medical professional who has seen you, certainly, and um, they may not know your entire history. So let's talk about PPOs. PPOs are what a lot of individuals really do appreciate because in these PPOs, they can pretty much see any doctor that's in network, and these networks tend to be much larger than an HMO. It stands for Preferred Provider Organization. And some of the insurance companies, in fact, I'm going to talk about this at a later in a later um, uh, video, some of the insurance companies use the largest PPO provider and network in the country with about 980,000 care providers. And I'm going to talk about that one later on. But with PPOs, you've got a broader uh, collection of doctors that you can see and there's no pre-qualification and your primary care physician doesn't need to refer you out. Now let's talk deductibles and out of pocket maxes. This is always really confusing to people because people see I got a deductible and it's probably thousands of dollars. And then I've got an out of pocket max and it's much more thousands of dollars. So what's the difference? So with a deductible based plan, you're going to need to pay in for all of your care to reach that deductible. It, it could be several thousands of dollars, three, four, five thousand dollars, whatever. And then you've got a coinsurance rate. And I'm going to talk about coinsurance in a minute. But the coinsurance rate is the amount that you spend along with your insurance company to reach this out of pocket maximum. And that out-of-pocket maximum is typically a multiple of your deductible. So if your deductible is $3,000, your out-of-pocket max could be $7,000, $8,000. It just, just depends. Typically, it is going to be more. The nice thing about these type of plans is once you reach your out-of-pocket max, then you get 100% of your benefits paid from the insurance company. But here's the key. Until you pay your deductible and until you pay your out-of-pocket max, you're not actually getting any benefits from your insurance. Now, coinsurance. 
Coinsurance is typically listed in the plan document, something like 60, 40, 70, 30. I've even seen um, maybe 80, 20, and maybe 90, 10. But I've even seen 50, 50. So what this means is you're sharing the cost of the insurance with the our cost of your health care with the insurance company once you exceed your deductible. And so the percentage is how much you're going to share. Are they going to pay 60? Are you going to pay 40? And then you've got to reach that out-of-pocket maximum. There's really good alternatives in the industry now that do away with all of this nonsense. They simply have a deductible when you're confined in the hospital. And I encourage people to understand what those um, deductible-based plans, uh, or how those deductible-based plans work, and then all, how are the alternative plans working, and how do those deductibles apply when you just get admitted to the hospital? Now there's copays. Copays are typically something that you are paying just to have access to care, which means you may go see a doctor. And you'll have a copay. You're going to pay right there before you even get to go see the doctor. You may still 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 have a bill from the doctor because you haven't met your deductible. But with copays, basically, it's your responsibility to be able to access that care. Same could uh, could apply for say um, uh, emergency room or urgent care type visit where you're going to have a copay up front. Now, good plans don't have copays up front. In fact, good plans pay before you do so that you don't have deductibles for routine care. There are no co-pays. And those plans are always something to take a look at. Well, I hope you found that helpful in that um, these terms, while they can be confusing, um, your health insurance agent should be able to help you navigate these terms and explain to you what they all mean. Well, my name is Steve Stump, and I'd like to invite you to get a free video that explains how the health insurance industry is actually rigged against you. But there's a way to change the game. If you're interested in getting that free video, just go to insuremesteve.us forward slash rigged, and you can get access to the video right there. I'm really looking forward to providing more of these valuable um, videos going forward. I hope this provided some value to you as well. Let me know your thoughts. Put, it, put your questions and, and um, comments down below. And I look forward to talking with you in the thread. Have a great, great day.